Steve and Stacy, this is just one of the spots where there's a huge vision of making new docks for boats and piers for fishing. The trouble is now there is a bit of a financial hiccup. It's been nearly four years since city leaders unveiled grand plans to create a massive $125 million river trail project in the metro. It includes 80 construction projects on 150 miles of area waterways. Things like a huge whitewater attraction near the Women of Achievements Bridge on the Des Moines River downtown. A boat launch and fishing docks near Principal Park at the confluence of the Des Moines and Raccoon Rivers. And several places to put paddle boats in creeks and rivers all unused and disconnected from people for decades. They've gone underutilized for so many years and we're really looking to re-engage uh, and provide those recreational amenities and that's a big shift. Organizers had hoped to kick off construction on the major downtown water trail attractions in June, but recent bids on the projects came back over cost estimates. Now they must decide to either reconfigure plans or raise more money. They blame the new struggle with inflation. Fold in the fact, too, of the challenges with workforce shortage, inflation, supply chain issues. This is not an uncommon experience for a lot of construction projects that are out there right now. So instead of June, it looks like they may want to wait till September to start building some of these projects. They have to spend this money by 2026. We're live downtown. Todd Magel, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.